guys, welcome back to Life with the Beckers. Today we are unboxing mostly a the Gulu Super Safe Car Jump Starter Battery Power Pack. So this is a car battery jump start kit. So it's a power bank, but it can also jump start small car batteries, um, small truck batteries, things like that. We'll have details in the description on that. But yeah, so let's uh, go ahead and check out the Becker bullets and we'll get flying. All right, here we go. Gulu. So this is a portable jump starter that will be able to be used if we, our battery dies or anything like that and we need a jump. Ooh, comes with a nice package. A nice box. So we got like the wall charger, maybe a car charger. It's a flashlight, charger, LED indicator, nice, that's pretty sweet. Boom, so let's go try it on my car and see if it works. All right, so time to jump the car. So close. Well, maybe when I was younger. Not bad. I definitely had it. Better luck next time. Maybe if I would have tried again. Now, Carm's turn. I'm not gonna jump it with my feet. Anyone that knows me knows that that's a bad idea. So I'm gonna use a tool instead. <laughs> a candle in there mm -hmm. and it's hot so it's like partially liquid mm, we'll see that in a sec okay here. so it's so dead that we can't use the key fob so we have to use the actual key let's get some of this candle action you want to get in there and check it out oh oh Dang! Like it's like sloshy. Here's the wick. That's amazing. This is from um. It's a vanilla scent. It's a vanilla scented uh, Walmart candle from someone. Whoever gave it to us, you'll know who you are. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> now Jesse's car smells nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna carefully set this. Uh, I'll take it. Elsewhere. Thank you. Pop the hood. Oh, does yours uh, not have a deal? Oh, mm -hmm. this thing? No, you're like proper stick for this. Like, how do I? Oh, my try that go. I think it might normally, but it's too hot right now. Hold um, itself? I think yeah. it does. That's good, I can hold it for you. Okay. Yeah, if, if it has a like setting where it's supposed to hold it, it's not going to in this heat because mm. the um, system doesn't work as well. Interesting. Because it's, uh, I, I, I believe so. Mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. So 
So here we have this nice little handy deal. Here's the attachment. Has some warnings. Definitely read those guys. Read all the stuff. Don't, we're not experts. We don't, we take zero liability for your dumbness. So read these, make sure you do it correctly. As you can see, we don't have like a standard battery in here. We have a hybrid, but there should be a relay up here so that we can still jump it like normal. <clears throat> so here on the actual like device, we have the flashlight side. There's also this, that's where the um, rubber piece comes back. That's where this hooks in. And it's like shaped in a way that you can only put it in the one way. And all the words are on the back if that helps. Nice. Okay, so we have that. Now, we're gonna locate the relay for the battery since our battery's in the back. They make a nice little thingy. Maybe not. Maybe not. That's okay. We'll move this party to the trunk. weird hybrid battery in the back. Red to red, aka positive, right? Yep. Black to black, aka negative. These little clamps are kind of small. There we go. Maybe hold the power button. Turn okay. On. Oh, sorry. Um, so it's, you do the two clamps mm -hmm. and then you check the lights on the side here. So we have oh, nice. the correct configuration because if you have them backwards in some vehicles, it can be really hard to tell. I don't know if you guys can see the light there, but there is like LEDs. If it's wrong and it's in reverse and you need to fix it, it'll like make a noise that's obnoxious so that you know. But we can see the green is lit up there, so we're good. So then you just uh, press the boost button um, and that starts the engine within 30 seconds. So that's if you need the boost. We probably do, but we're gonna try just, it says with the green light on, you should just be able to start the engine as normal. But we have a feeling because of ours being um, sitting for a while, it's probably gonna need the boost, but we're gonna try it. So we're gonna go uh, give it a test, I guess. Should we leave it for a moment? Or so this should be using it, that as the battery, huh? Essentially, yes. Nice. And it said 30 seconds, so I think that once we're all hooked up and it's all plugged in and lights on, I think then we're good. Boom. Okay, let's give it a start. I don't see any interior lights yet. Yeah, I'm getting nothing, so let's turn it on. Okay. Turning it on. Powered on. Okay, wait. Probably. We've got the correct thing. It's lit up. Okay. So now, tr try, uh, oh, I'm not seeing any interior lights still. Yeah, we still got nothing, like I kind of thought. Okay, so now maybe push boost. Okay. And just the ones. Yep. Now I'm hearing stuff. Is it? Interior lights are on. So now let's try. Good to go. A brake, and then power button. Ooh, close. Okay, so now we have to give it a minute because so, yeah. we boosted it and tried, and it didn't quite work. So now we'll have to boost it again. 
and then try. Um, but the second boost should be more effective than the first one. Nice. I think that it, or now, like now that we've done the first one, it'll boost it again and help it. But um, I think there is a limit on there on how many times you can boost it. So I'll look and see. Um, but yeah, I think, I think this should work. Well, there we go. You know, it definitely started up the interior lights. We kind of got going for two seconds and then it turned off again. So not one, like not one and done, but hopefully two and through. <laughs> So it's no, oh, I think it might still be boosting. Is that brighter than it was last time you saw it? Um, no, it looks the same to me, but. Mm. When I boosted, it definitely lit up. Not seeing any interior lights. How often does it say we can boost? Um, it says don't start the vehicle continuously more than four times within two minutes. If it can't be started at one time, wait at least 30 seconds before restarting it. Okay, so we can do it again. We're definitely good. So I'll get in and you can boost it. There we go, I got ready. Yeah! There it is. Uh-oh. That's okay. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Just rattling out some uh, some chunks. Some old pre-built up nastiness. But there we have it, you guys. There we have it. All good to go. So now we're just gonna move it so we can mow. Thank you, Gulu. You the uh, man. <laughs> you the robot, bro. The robot. That sounds weird. Well, Carm, your jump was way more successful than mine. You know, right tools for the job, but also we had to learn all of our different opportunities, different ways of doing it. If you hadn't have tried, we wouldn't have known, you know? <laughs> and plus, I thought you totally had it. I really did. Until it was about halfway past the Toyota mark, and then I thought, trajectory's off. All of a sudden, the calculation was not good. My, my geometry brain was like, uh-oh. <laughs> but yeah, so <clears throat> anyway, I'm glad that we could overall be successful in getting the car jumped. Just a test, and uh, yeah, all five are still lit up. So that didn't even really take anything from our power bank here. Yeah, and to like give you guys some perspective, I have an iPhone 12, um, like regular iPhone 12. And um, when we went camping, I depleted my battery to 0% and I used this to recharge it. And it took like about two and a half dots to recharge my phone. So that's crazy that it didn't even take any of that to do that to restart our battery. Like you could definitely keep this as an emergency, charge your phone all weekend or all week or whatever, and then still have one dot and like probably salvage someone's battery. Like that's actually very useful versus some of these where it's not maybe quite so practical. So just to give you an idea, that's that's bomb. To and through with Gulu. <laughs> so just like wrapping up, you know, like we said, it's a good little uh, nifty device, you know, 45 bucks is what we paid for it. It's definitely worth been worth it for us with camping and with jump starting the old uh, hybrid that we had in the yard. So, um, yeah, you know, worked for us. It's good. We like it. We got it on walmart.com. So there's no link in the description for this. We can't find it on Amazon. Um, we only want you guys to look at buying things. If it's something that makes sense for you, just because we recommend something or that we like something, or we tried something doesn't mean that you should buy it or even that you should buy that brand if you find something else good. So just disclaimer, um, you know, don't worry about buying anything just cause we're recommending it. Do your own research if you want to, you know, make sure it's the right decision for you. Um, but I've definitely shopped around and things like that, but like deals change and things like that, like on the regular. So just keep that in mind. And yeah, like Carmen said, do what's best for you. Yeah, it's a little bit cheaper right now to get this Gulu kit. I think it's like $5 less than we paid for it when we bought it right now on walmart.com. So you could check it out there if you want to. We'll include the name so that you can search it. But we don't have any links or anything for this one. So, um, but just wanted to let you guys know that's that's our thoughts on it. Boom. So yeah, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Comment below and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.